Hi, I'm Peter Birch, and as most people know, I'm a reptile guy. And I love snakes especially, just like this little girl sitting on eggs. It's that time of the year where you get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Most people don't realise that I will travel to places like America to see these gigantic reptile expos. Well, today's show is all about Australian reptile expos. So hopefully the rest of you guys are going to get a blast. Welcome to Criticam. In this week's show, we take a closer look at some of the reptile expos we've travelled to on the east coast of Australia. We're looking at Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. This week's Question of the Week. How long have reptiles been available to be sold at reptile expos within Australia? 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years? Please leave a comment below. This is a magnificent animal. In fact, these are Murray Darling carpet pythons. And the term for these guys being called is the silver pepper. As you can see, that beautiful silver pepper markings. Absolutely spectacular animals. And probably more importantly, is that these guys can be genetically replicated, in other words, our friend Darren, who's working with these animals, is producing more and more of these, and they are an absolute spectacular animal. In fact, I know that there's a lot of people here today that'll want this animal, if not all over the world. These guys are beautiful. We're here at Amazing Amazon, and as you know, I'm an Antarusia guy. This is something that's absolutely caught me off guard. This is the T-positive Stimson's python. Absolutely a beautiful animal. Now when I first seen images of these, when we put them into the complete children's python book, I was drooling, but to see one in the flesh, I tell you, it's taking my, my breath away. It is absolutely an amazing animal. Here we are checking out some cool womers here at the expo, and this is a WA locality animal, the De Grey Station animal. And in fact, the WA animals are much smaller than the typical womers found in Central Australia. In fact, what we have here, is a Tanami Desert Locality Wormer. As you can see, look at the size difference right there. The colours are very different also, and the banding. The WA animals typically have darker banding compared to the Tanamis, which have these bright, beautiful yellow heads. You never know the coolest things you'll find in a show like this. And in fact, I just stumbled upon this beautiful northern blue tongue. Absolutely a magnificent animal. And in fact, it's got no banding at all in this animal. It's truly beautiful. And what also makes it pretty spectacular is it's got these beautiful black eyes. What a beautiful lizard. Check out this guy. It's the largest cockroach species in Australia. And in fact, it's not truly a cockroach. It's really called a litter bug. These guys are absolutely magnificent. They burrow down into the leaf litter, eating decayed leaves and dirt and all sorts of cool stuff. Absolutely amazing animals. Hey mate, I want to buy a book on uh, children's pythons. Would you recommend this one? Of course mate, it's written by the, the most experienced children's python breeder in the world. Who's that? Uh, not Peter Birch. Must be a good book. It is. <laughs> this little guy is Zephyr. He's a leather-backed bearded dragon, 100% hypo, 100% hypertranslucent. Absolutely spectacular animal. Look at those beautiful tiger banding there. Big bright yellow head. He's a beautiful creature. What an amazing specimen of a night tiger. These are a rear fanged colubrid. In actual fact, they have fangs at the back of their jaw, which they use when they chew onto their food to inject venom into their prey. They're a nocturnal species and absolutely amazing. This beautiful bright orange and cream coloration is spectacular. We're here at T's Black-Headed Pythons checking out some of the coolest black-headed pythons I've seen. Here we have just a normal black-headed python. As you can see, these beautiful yellows and red hues all through it. And more importantly, check this out. This is an exanthic black-headed python. Look at those black and whites. When we put them together, look at the contrast in those colors. Absolutely spectacular. Hey 
We're here with one of the owners of Scales and Tail Magazine Australia, Mahalia. We're going to ask her some really quick questions about the magazine. Mahalia, can you tell me how long this magazine's been publicated? I sure can, Pete. The magazine is now in its sixth year. We have a few thousand subscribers and we also ship internationally. We've just unveiled our new website and we also have just launched the e-mags, which are now available, one's current. Awesome. And I notice you guys also sell these magnificent binders. Yeah, the binders are very popular. Each one features a new cover each year and they hold six magazines. In fact, if you haven't got the magazine, I would subscribe. It is absolutely amazing. We're here at Roy Pales' shop, Pales for Scales, checking out some of these awesome animals he has for sale and on display today. And we came across this monster here. This is Chub Chub. He's an amazingly massive spiny-tailed monitor. Spiny-tailed monitors get their name because of all the spines down their tail. These guys inhabit rock crevices in their natural range. They get in there nice and tight and they wedge in there really hard, making it very difficult for predators to eat them. Now, in fact, this guy is an absolute mammoth of an animal. When I first seen him, I thought he was a very large monitor. In fact, I thought he was something like a small lace monitor or even a small perendi. He is an absolute massive beast. How often do you get a chance to hold a saltwater crocodile like my little friend here, Smiley? Look at him, he's got a wonderful smile. Probably not the smartest thing to do with the saltwater crop. <laughs> We've got ourselves the northern rainforest dragon, the Hypsilurus boidii. And in fact, there's two species of rainforest dragons that inhabit Australia. There's the southern rainforest dragon, which is more green and less spectacular, and the northern, which are the boids, which have these enlarged spines and these very beautiful colours and markings. And in fact, the dewlap also has a lot of spines there. Absolutely spectacular animals, very arboreal, they love climbing, and in fact, Put my little buddy there, he'll climb up nice and high. These guys inhabit the rainforest of far north Queensland. Absolutely awesome animals. We're here at Aussie Forma checking out silkworms. And in fact, silkworms are an amazing food item. Believe it or not, these guys have a, an enzyme called serotase, which enables calcium to be absorbed a lot more efficiently. And very important for dragon and agamid species in general. These are beautiful food items. And what makes it even easier these days, instead of going around raping and pillaging people's uh, mulberry trees, is they sell this product here. This here is called the silkworm chow. Basically, you mix it with water, turns into a gel-like substance, and the silkworms will eat it. We've got ourselves a rare treat. We've got a couple of hosmer skinks here. Just look at the variation in color of these two guys. Absolutely spectacular. And in fact, the hosmer skinks start in western Queensland and they go all the way across into the Northern Territory. Beautiful creatures, very spiny scales. We're here at Knobtail Kingdom checking out some of the really cool knobtails they've got. In fact, look at this little guy here. They're calling this a high white. It's actually a Levis pulverensis, one of the beautiful little creatures I've seen in a long time. We're here at Turtles Australia, checking out some amazing turtles. And in fact, these guys are a self-funded group helping to try and protect the expanser, the northern long-necked turtle. And in fact, these guys' population is in dire straits. Their nests are being attacked, attacked by foxes. They're being raided and destroyed, which is affecting a lot of their population. You can imagine taking out so many small turtles out of a population that needs to age a very long time before they become sexually reproductive. So it's very important that we help back groups like this to help save beautiful creatures like this. WA shinglebacks are absolutely amazing animals. Look at the colour of this beautiful creature here. Like all shinglebacks, these guys give live birth to live young. And in fact, they can have anywhere between two and four babies. Look at the colour of this guy. Big, beautiful, bright coloured head. This week's Question of the Week. How long have reptiles been available to be sold at reptile expos within Australia? If you entered A, 10 years, 
You're right. Good job. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show about Australian Reptile Expos. We might be a few steps behind the rest of the world, but we're catching up quick. Please leave a comment below, hit us up on Facebook and Twitter. You've been watching Criticam. Ah, thanks for watching. Ah.